Hello everyone, it's Adam here. Uh, for this video, you're gonna need a boost gauge and you're gonna need a, um, well, this stuff. Um, it has a nice, you wanna make, get something with a, um, a sprayer. You don't want just regular freestanding, you know, a spout to pour stuff in. Uh, why a boost gauge? Well, let's walk around in the car and let's, uh, let's, let me show you why. Now you don't want to, um, a lot of people were putting this stuff directly into their uh, turbo intake. This means that this nasty gunk is going to pass through your turbo. Um, it, it's it's doable, but it's not the best way to do it. Uh, now, if you have an electronic boost gauge, uh, chances are the boost gauge is reading um, well from the ECU and won't have a boost tap. Now, this is the APR boost tap. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Uh, it's directly into the intake manifold. The engine is pretty warm right now. Uh, let's go through the instructions so you guys kind of are aware of what's going on here. Uh, so you're going to uh, warm up the engine, spray directly to the throttle body. This face is tight, product may be sprayed upside down, avoid spraying sideways. The throttle body is dual action spray. The, uh, there's no map sensor on this car. Um, with the engine running at 2000 RPM, spray product in short burst until the can is empty. If necessary, accelerate to avoid engine stalling during the spray period. Do not exceed 3500 RPM. Uh, once the can is empty, uh, accelerate the engine two or three times without exceeding 3500. Run it idle for one minute and turn the engine off. Uh, and then you're going to reassemble the air intake system and let engine heat soak for one hour. And then restart engine and drive away at high speeds for at least 10 minutes. So that's the instructions. Um, for those of you that have a boost tap, the way this is installed is, uh, it's got a coolant hose here in the way, it's very hot by the way. Uh, we're going to pull this piece off of the boost tap, this piece here, and then we're going to unscrew the boost tap from the uh, intake manifold. Now, chances are well, during this process, um, you're going to throw a code. Um, you know, if you have VACOM, then just clear the code and you're good. So let's remove this guy. Boom, just like that. Don't lose that clamp. And then unscrew the boost tap from APR. I need two hands for this. Okay, so we've had to get that loosened up with, with two hands, but now we can just screw this directly out of the C lead. The base stays on the intake manifold, and this screws counterclockwise right out. There we go, we are out. Okay, so let's, uh, it's pretty clean, I'd say. Let's put this to the side, start the engine up and we'll start the process. I've got a buddy here off camera who's gonna hold it at 2000 RPM while we do the, uh, the small injections here. Check engine light also came on, but we'll clear those codes. Uh, while I was running at idle, let's go ahead and install the uh, the boost tap back in here. That sounded pretty rough. Let's cut the power then, cut ignition, and wait one hour. Yeah, it sounded pretty bad. Uh, I'm actually going to uh, grab my laptop and go and clear that code before I restart it, but I'll just start the the ignition but not the uh, motor and clear that code and then we'll uh, wait an hour and drive home all right so I came back out and I did the uh, engine zero one module on VACOM and cleared all the codes there was a intake error leak um, a misfire a I think it was, unex it was an unexpected throttle response error let's keep this open I actually start it up it's going to be a rough start, and it has to then uh, whew, run for 10 minutes at highway speeds. Now, my hope is that we don't have any check engine lights coming on. <laughs> I did clear some, but it looks like we got this just the startup light, I think. So it's going to sound pretty bad. Just bear with me. Rough start for sure. 
All right, let's head the road. We'll start, oh yeah, see the smoke coming out the back there? Well, can't see anymore. We got some pretty bad smoke coming out the back. It's hard to see really, but it's coming out. It'll get worse as we drive though. All right, so uh, just did a highway run for about 10 minutes. Lots of chances to be on boost. And uh, performed just fine. It smoked a little bit, right the first mile it smoked. And then uh, it stopped after that. So lots of things are looking pretty good. We're just uh, gonna head back to the, uh, the house and get ready for later on tonight. Thanks for watching.